All right, it's that time of year where you got to put your tent trailer away. So I'm a first year tent trailer owner. Got a nice Rockford 2010 here. Beautiful. And um, I learned a bit uh, what you got to do. Well, you have to clean the tarp, make sure mold protection. And I did some extra spray for silicone of the, on the tarp also and cleaned it. Um, let it dry in the sun and whatnot. Um, so, uh, but I do hear that uh, the, the tarps are pretty uh, excellent. You don't have to do that. But I, I just like taking the extra initiative to look after this fun summer, spring, fall uh, a <laughs> apartment in the forest. Um, yeah, but some of the things that I had to do that uh, you'll want to do is you want to take the propane tank off, obviously. You'll want to, you know, uh, uh, take the battery out and put it away and charge it for next year uh, when the time is right. Uh, you, you basically um, go around and make sure it's all clean and whatnot. I put some um, little mouse packs in to repel. There's an actual scent that you can buy from a trailer outlet. I'm not sure if it's available in Canadian Tire. But um, some bounce sheets. I've been recommended um, mothballs because mice can actually really damage your trailer. Trailers and boats, anything in storage. They will eat everything. They will eat your wires. They will chew away at your fiberboard. Um, so it's recommended. Even though the smell, I've heard the smell of mothballs. So I'm going to look into it a little deeper to find out if there's anything better. But you can do these and take everything out that you can if you're putting it away. Um, so that it can be stored through six months. Yes, yeah, six months you got to find or unless you have a nice accommodation. I've heard some things about the tires and the air and the weight through the winter and stuff. Um, I, I, I think I'm going to put the jacks on and, and just leave them down to take the weight off as the air deflates through the winter to, so that it doesn't do that. Um, I've also taken the initiative to go through the lines. If you put water in, you have a water reservoir, the plastic can crack in the line. So you have to get a um, uh, antifreeze to put down and through the pump system. There's actually a $25 um, little kit that you got to use to pump it in and make sure it's coming out of the tap. A little complicated. Um, I bought this from a guy that hadn't used it for a few years, so um, I don't have to do that even though I bought the antifreeze. But those are very important because your lines can crack. I'm talking like the size of a dime of water. If there is in the lines in plastic and it expands, you know, when water freezes, um, it can damage things. So make sure you're very cognizant of that and uh, that you're taking care of your thing because then next year you're going to have another blast through the whole season with your beautiful tent trailer. So I hope this helps you to get ready for putting your tent trailer away. If you have any questions, just uh, talk to me in the comments below. Thank you very much for your time. Total plug for Terry's trailer service in Owen Sound, Ontario. Awesome for getting parts and supplies and any questions you have.